Hey, what's up everyone, Bob Kings here, and welcome back to some more Paladins today. We're going to be playing Barak here, and let's take a quick look at our card. So, to start us off, we have Healing Station. Um, you're going to see this in pretty much every Barak build. Really strong card, heals you while you're standing next to your turrets, which you're going to be doing a lot of the time. Um, the next card here, Field of Play, we have this because the idea of this deck is we are going to try and be the first Pez on the point to uh, get the turrets down ASAP. Well, if we're going to be first person, we have to be out of here straight away. But yeah, we um, want to be like early onto the point so we can place down our turrets. we got four yellow for a bit of help, combo repair, and then boiling ball for a bit of tankiness. Um, oh, Jesus Christ, that was a lot of damage really fast. I think we got sniped. I'm going to pull back for a second just to uh, try and survive. And maybe in the meantime, try and take down the healer. Oh, God, we can't. Um, we couldn't actually rock a beast away there because we were crippled. Because that's what I want to try and do here. I want to rock a boost around the corner because we were so low. But um, we actually couldn't do it because we were crippled. Luckily, looks like our team was able to clean him up. Yeah, we definitely got sniped right at the start there with a headshot. Because our health just jumped down to like 700 straight away. Um, I want to come around here so we can avoid the Eevee. She's trying to pick up uh, people that are coming back. And we just want to get back to the point. So we can set up our turrets and stuff. Wrap our shield that way so we can protect ourselves against a sniper. And can we get it? She's down, sweet. Okay, we're probably gonna die here. That's fine, we got the Eevee. We got tons of damage from the splash from Eevee, I think, there. That's fine, we got the point, we got Eevee down, we protected our team with our shield from the Knesset. And we actually um, have to watch out about that. We only have Buck who can really jump on it. I guess Drogo's camp, but he's probably gonna be trying to deal damage to the front line so we can push through. Um, okay. Get some damage down here, pull back a bit because we are quite low. And I'm gonna throw a turret up here just so we have a safe turret to heal with. And there's an Eevee behind us, I think. Yes, there is. Nice. Good work. Okay. So, we have a lot of people in this room. Holy shit. Man, why are there so many people over here? Um, I need to try and work out a way to get a bit closer to the enemy here. Looks like Cassie decided to get a bit closer for us, which is a bit helpful. Oh, she's just going to get away, I think, yeah. Um, let's throw this down. Hide around the corner to heal up for a second. Let's take down this so our friends aren't slowed and they don't get the bonus damage on them. Okay, there we go. Looks like Knesset's around here. We could probably pick her up. Where's she gone? Oh, she's gone all the way over there. Okay. Yeah, she was starting to get herself stuck in the corner there. She had to um, teleport out. Going to use this to get a bit forward. Take out these mines as we go forward so our team doesn't constantly get slowed. Shield up. Where are they? Okay. Let's just reload here, take out this mine. Try to get behind this wall so Kinesis can't see us. And we're gonna have a lot of trouble this game with these two super long range people. Okay. Take this out. Try and get a bit closer. Damn. Yeah, as soon as we get close, we're just gonna get blown up by Kinesa and Cassie here. It's gonna be a really hard game for us. Oh, we'll see how we go though. We're probably gonna have to get Haven here. Um, and uh, I'm not sure. I want to get a healing one, but I'm not sure which healing one we'll get. Maybe we do have a healer, which is quite nice. So we might get uh, the one that increases healing from allies. Let's see there. Oh, Jesus Christ, there's a lot of people there. And now that's going in. Try and get a bit closer. Oh, pull back. Oh, shield up. Okay, we got shield up. Trying to watch out for this guy here. Oh, no. Blow him up real quick. Sweet. I'm going to stay in this room so we can keep over time while being safe. I'm going to hug this left wall so Kinesa can't really snipe us as much. Throw this shield up. That'll block off her angle so she can't snipe. Until the shield down. Oh, she'd actually teleport up to the top there. Um, I'm going to have to get behind this tree here. Oh, damn. Yeah. We're still too far away from it. I didn't want to get blown up in like two shots there from um, Knesset though. Um, okay, we need to get Haven. But yeah, we probably could have stood a bit closer. I just worry that she could snipe around the tree. Oh well. We do have a couple of ults up here. We have everything besides Grover, so it's pretty good for us. And the score is 1-1. One, one. And we know Knesset's ult's down as well, so that's good. We need this buck really to get onto Knesset. He needs to save his jump, um, 
for his te um, for a teleport, so she can't go. He can't go in using um, his jump. He needs to save her, because otherwise she's just gonna teleport away, and he's gonna have to run towards her, and it's gonna be terrible. So we'll see how he goes. Um, Knessa's probably gonna be here real soon. Okay, throw this down. Watch out! Oh, nice, nice, punch him down. Good work. Um, we thought to pull. Oh my God! There's so many people on every single side. I'm gonna throw this turret down here and just stand in this corner for now, because we aren't able to hit this Knessa at all. Okay, here we go. We can get this person, the Cassie. Drop a shield. Where are shield girls behind us? Okay. Now she's coming around the back. She's going down there. Well, Evie's up here. We'll just hold the point for now while we can. Watch out for this. Now, I think what we're gonna do is throw down this ult. This should secure the point for us. Because they should run off it. Unless they're gonna try and go man mode. Holy shit, okay. They're gonna counter us with Grover ult. As soon as they get low. That's fine. We got Fernanda ult going down here. I think there's someone behind us as well. The Eevee, yeah. I'm gonna try and um, annoy her. She's close enough for us to actually deal damage to unlike the rest of the team. Sweet. So that's just enough to get the point. That was really close. Nice use by the enemy, um, Grover there and Makoa. I think they might be together because they timed that quite well. As soon as he got really, really low, um, Grover altered and made it really easy for him to, uh, stand in our ult and still deal damage to us. Okay. Well, Knessa's gonna come off the top here, so we have to watch out about that. A lot of people down there. I wanna wait for my rocket boost until I go in. Because otherwise, I'm gonna be too far away. No, I can't get close enough, I don't think. Especially with the people over here. Oh, damn. Okay. It's a rough one. Watch out for the sniper. And, okay, she's down. Who took her down? Look, I think a fireball by Fernanda took her down. Nice job by him. Let's get over here. We want to secure this area so she can't get back up here. Nice. We're pushing them away. They're pulling back. Going to give us a bit of ground. And we still have to watch out, though. Okay. He altered, did he? He did, okay. Well, that's good. He's behind our line, so he's not really tanking for anyone. He's just distracting us for a bit. And in the meantime, we can sort of try and push around this corner. We can. Oh, my God. Okay, we're pushing the pair low while our team deals with them. Um, slowly. We're going to have to pull back here. I'm going to come through this little building here. That way they can't do... Oh, my God. Okay, turn it down, heal up. She might come around again any second. Link there. Where's she going? Oh, no, she's gonna fly away. Okay. I'm not gonna chase her down because that's a waste of time. Our team's pushing forward. We'll just leave her at the back there for a couple of seconds. Try and move in here. How are we going? I'm gonna try and move in between our buck and the rest of the enemy team to protect him. Getting some big damage down. We got Grover protecting us so we can keep chasing. Oh, gotta watch out. Get behind this tree, throw down the turret since we can't really do anything at the moment. Get in here. Okay, come on, we're almost there. Nice, nice job, nice job, team. Man, people in this game actually seem quite good. Uh, okay, let's go get another point in Haven here. That should protect us from Kinetic quite well. It's really helpful that the only person with Splash is Eevee and... Um, she does actually seem to be dealing a bit of damage, but we seem to be, um, doing okay. She seems to stand in that little room on the right, when we're on the point, and just, like, constantly hammers us, but, um, with our turrets, I think she just is forced to run away every so often. I guess fine. Let's go, uh, over here, so we can get to the point quicker. We should be fine. It's good that Makoa has to worry about the mixed damage coming out here. So he's gonna um, blast shield, so we're still dealing full damage to him. I wanna fire the turret right down here, so this way they can't actually snipe it like they've been doing the rest of the game. Okay, watch out. I'm just gonna use this wall to protect us, because we know Knessa's sniping in the same spot she always does. Yes. She probably should move eventually. Oh, what the hell's going on here? Oh, should we go over? I don't know if we should go over there and kill him. I feel like um, maybe we should just focus on the point for now because we might actually lose. Okay, here he comes. I think he DC'd. Yeah, it looks like he DC'd right at the end here, unfortunately. But that's, uh, that's a bit unfortunate. Let's uh, get on the point here. I think I'm going to hold on to my offer a couple more seconds. They're probably going to run onto the point soon and try and fight us for it. 
And we should be able to get this. Put up the shield soon. Couple seconds. There we go. Oh, got one big shot off on her. There we go. She's down now. And yeah, you can see Knessa can't get up turrets at all from here. Um, so this just makes it really easy. The whole team's dead as well, which really helps, <laughs> obviously. Oh man, that was a rough matchup though. Very rough matchup. We had two very short range tanks trying to deal with a Knessa and a Cassie. And I guess you can say a Grover as well, because he wants to stand quite far back to get the bonus damage. But he's actually um, quite close to the point as well because he wants to heal this tank. I think Makoa probably should have just um, held back a bit until they dealt a bit more damage, taking maybe down one of the tanks or waited till the barricade was, was down or something like that, and then pushed onto the point. And that might have worked a bit better for them. Um, how do we actually go here? Um, we actually dealt most damage. Okay, that's actually quite surprising. I thought our damage was going to be quite low because of how long range the enemy team was, but. Um, that actually worked out quite well. So yeah, the Eevee actually didn't deal too much damage. She seemed to always be in the same spot there on the side, just constantly shooting, and no one was really harassing her, so... I'm not quite sure what happened there. Um... <laughs> poor April saying it's too heavy. I have to agree there. I mean... We, did, we didn't do too bad for a tank. He did have quite an easy time here. Two very short range, um, tanks, so... That's probably the optimal setup for, like, a Knesset. They like they're not going to come off the point running at you because it's just taken way too long, and they can just snipe you down. Um, she can just snipe you down constantly as you're trying to run to her. But um, luckily we had a couple of good people that could take care of them. The buck didn't do too bad. Uh, damage quite low. Same with the drogas, but they seem to get the job done. That's all that really matters in the end, right? Unfortunately, it seems to grow over DC at the end. That might have been why the last round was sort of um, one-sided. But we had some good turret placement on the end there. We actually got to the point first. We could get right over to their side of the capture point. Place down the turret against the wall there. That way Knessa on the side couldn't see it at all. She can't snipe it down or anything. Cassie can't take it out before she comes in. Or anything like that. And um, that makes it a lot easier for us. But yeah, Cassie didn't do too bad. She actually... um, I think since she was like a dodge roll Cassie. She wanted to be like really close. Like usually... As dodge roll caster, you don't sit back, you usually get like quite close to the enemy. But I think in this case, even if she was a dodge roll build, or maybe she should add like a second deck or something like that. Um, problem with it is, she's actually helping us by coming so close. Like, she could have um, taken a deck that allowed her to stay a bit further away range. I mean, even with the dodge roll build, you don't have to get close. You can just roll like from far away and you still get the damage bonus and the life steal and stuff. So I think she just needed to stay a bit further back. And it would have a better chance there. But she didn't do too bad. Lots of damage out there. I think it was mostly just Eevee. Wasn't able to get the shots off. You see only 14k damage. Which unfortunately just isn't enough for um, their team. Cole didn't do too bad either. Got some nice um, shielding going on there. He just really didn't have any sort of... Yeah, he, he was relying on his... De like they had more damage and we just had more tanks. He was just relying on his damage dealers to be able to deal with uh, tank line before he died but yeah it didn't really work out it seems that we could have uh, Buck and Drogo's both on the Knesset and that just made it really easy cause yeah Knesset will come towards us we can kill her off our flankers and damage dealers can deal with the Knesset and that just makes it quite good for us like they don't even have to kill the Knesset off as long as she's not just sitting there scoping down at us that's an advantage for us. She did get quite a lot of time though, as you can see with her <laughs> kills and streaks and stuff, but um, it seems to work out in the end, luckily. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.